Everyone's rise through WWE is different, but it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain, the only thing that separates you from the WWE universe in the moment that would change your life forever, your WWE debut. For some, it means stepping in front of a crowd that immediately erupts and chants your name. Guys, it's Bailey! Expectations placed upon you before you even step foot in the ring. For others, it means trying to make the best first impression to those who have no idea who you are. Some will find a clear path to the top, while others may take a few steps back before they figure out how to move forward. Because how you start doesn't always determine how you finish, who you eventually align with, or who you ultimately discover you really are. After that moment, the choices you make can send your career different directions and have the potential to change the makeup of the WWE Universe forever. But that's getting ahead of things. Everyone's rise through WWE is different. But it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain. What happens next is up to you. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for 10 years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. <laughs> we probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. Champion, two-time Intercontinental Champ, multi-time Tag Champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent, so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following is scheduled for 
one fall, making his way to the ring from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Daniel Bryan. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. The lock has been handed the keys to WWE. Is he ready to drive? After his spectacular debut, the Intercontinental Champion will look to keep his momentum going tonight against Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent, Ridge Holland. Looks like Rich Holland has company, though. Sami Zayn is apparently off the to rehab his neck. Buckle up, folks. The Rock's title might not be up to grabs, but his reputation would certainly take a hit if he takes a step backwards here tonight. Countered it just in time. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. Oh, look at this. Oh, pump handle into a gut buster. Nice. Gut buster. isn't holding anything back. Oh, man, the neck breaker. And into the count. Two. Powers through after two. Going for the pin. Sami Zayn just blindsided the lock with his chain. This was all a setup to weaken the Intercontinental Champion before he faces Sami Zayn. Did Sammy say something about the safe? Could be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sammy Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Well, whatever the plan is, Sammy looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Rich Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they going to do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sami and Ridge want no part of him. Well, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Lock certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage.